Good morning. Mike, old man in the woods out here. I'm building this little pocket-sized survival kit. This is not just a fire kit, survival kit, and I need a blade to go in it. Now, I could put a safety razor blade or anything like that, a box cutter blade in there, but they're sometimes dangerous to use. So I'm gonna make a knife out of a hacksaw blade. Now I've already got this marked off to length. Let me show you how to cut a hacksaw blade. You take that blade and you put it just right above where you've got it marked off right there, kind of like that. Clamp it in the vise. Put some pressure on it with your finger. Go ahead and bend it over and then tap it with a hammer. And hold on to it. Because, watch here. Just breaks off right that easy. Now, we got the shop buddy, Elmer. He's out here helping us. Thank you, Elmer. Supervise me good. We got the cup of black coffee in the blue and white cup, and we're ready to go. So the way we're gonna build this knife is, we're gonna leave the sawtooth edge facing upwards. Then we're gonna put a uh, severe drop point on it. If this was a kitchen knife, you would call it a Santuco. That's the shape we're gonna go for. Then we're gonna put a finger notch back here. That'll give us a little bit more safety when we're gripping it. Then we're gonna round off these corners here, right there and right there. I've got my knife blade blank here. I've got it clamped off to a piece of plywood because I don't want to hold this with my fingers while I do this next operation. We're going to drill a hole right here so we can put a piece of paracord on it. So let's do that. go easy peasy the next thing to do is to put elmer shop assistant back up here on his perch so he can oversee everything now we've got the workshop sharpener set up and i got a 240 grit belt on it because this is thin and it won't take long i've also got i've got it clamped off with my k-clamp here because I don't want to hold this blade without some reinforcement. And so here we go. Let's go ahead and put an edge on it. Man, would you look at that. Five passes on each side. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and define that finger loop. Man, that's looking good. Let's take it a little bit deeper. We've got our finger hole to find. I'm gonna take just a few more passes with that 240 grit and establish this edge. We're at the 25 degree angle, which is good for camping knives and stuff like that. Now 
All right. Yes, sir. We're in good shape there. Let's go ahead and change the belt. We'll put on a finer grit and move on up the ladder, so to speak. We'll go ahead and go with, I've got these new belts here. They're kind of got a fiberglass quality to them, but they really work good at smoothing out that edge. Make sure it's tracking right. Looks good. All right, let's go. Let's stroke it five times. Man, can you see the smoothness of that edge now? And it is very sharp. It'll catch on your fingernail. Let's give it about three more strokes on each side. We'll change out belts and go with our super fine belt right here. This is more like a buffing belt and it's gonna take that burr off of that edge. Let's do it. We're all done. We have just as good an edge as we need to have. The work sharp has done it once more. Now let's finish with this knife. There's two more things we need to do to it. We need to wrap the handle and then put a paracord on it. And then we need to make a little miniature sheath for it. Let's do that. I'm gonna wrap it where the finger hole is and then You'll see what I have to do to trim that off. And I'm just gonna let the excess hang out over the end. It'll be okay. And this duct tape, which makes a wonderful little handle for this thing, also serves another purpose in a pinch. I could pull some of this duct tape off and use it for a fire starter. Let's wrap it about that much right there. We'll go ahead, trim it off right there. Let's go ahead and trim it back just like this. Okay, okay. The hole is right here where I've got the blue dot mark, so let's fire up the torch and we'll heat up this little ice pick, if you want to call it that. We'll heat that up. and just make a nice little hole in there. I decided instead of going with paracord, I'm gonna go with my fluorescent pink uh, bank line. When you're using bank line, don't cut it if you can. Burn it. Because when you burn it, it seals the ends and keeps it from unraveling. We'll go ahead and put one in through, just like that. Now I cut it extra long, but that's okay. Because I wanna see, if I put my finger there, I wanna be able to loop this around like that and that helps me to hold on to the blade. Tie them off into a knot right down at the end, just like that. I'm going to take my candle, going to burn those ends. Now 
Now that knot is sealed. And we have to come back down here and retie this knot. When I hold it, I hold it with my finger hole right there. I'll go around it. And then I have excess. I can come back around, slip it in there. And I've got a good grip pulling against that cord on that knife. So I can use that knife and not worry about my hand slipping down on it. Now the simplest way to make this sheath, we'll take this piece of cardboard. I'm gonna place it right there. And we're just gonna trace around this knife. Just like that. And we're going to cut out that form just like this. All right, there we go. Now we're actually going to take that knife. Oh, I hate cutting cardboard. But we're going to cut this open. just like that until that sheath fits that knife just like that. Then the next thing we're gonna do, because duct tape is so sticky, we're gonna take some blue tape, take a piece of blue tape, and we're gonna close this up with the blue tape. Just like that. We'll go around it one more time. Two more times. And then let's trim it down. Fold that on over. And then, to make that tape even more secure, we'll put one layer, and one layer only, of duct tape on that. We'll come and split it right down the middle. We'll fold it over. Just like that. And we'll trim that out just a little bit long. Squeeze that duct tape down good against each other. And trust me, that's all sealed up. And that knife will slide right in and out of that sheath with no problem. So now, let's put the knife to the test. Here's a piece of hardened bamboo. I flame hardened this bamboo. So let's wrap the knife around. Let's get it back on our little finger like that. Slide our next finger through there like that. My hand is, my finger's in the finger hole. I have got this knife and you wouldn't believe how secure it is. Let's go ahead and look at that. Makes great little shaving. So if I needed to shave off anything to make a little fire starter kindling of, there I have it. Cutting through this bamboo like it was butter.
Let's try it on a piece of fat wood. Let's see, will it cut this fat wood? Cause fat wood's pretty hard. Look at there. Make some nice little shavings with fat wood. No problem. Will it cut through this bank line? Like it was not even there. So there you have it. There you have it. A nice little knife with a sheath and it'll fit right inside of my survival tin just like that. Thanks for watching. Hit that button and subscribe if you've not already done so.